In today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 Christmas tree decorating ideas step by step. Keep watching. Hello, 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 how are you doing today? Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I will make this intro very short because it's already a long video, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 Christmas tree decorating ideas step by step. These are some of my favorite trees that I've done here on the channel. So it's a compilation of some of the trees that are my favorite from glam to traditional to woodland and snowmen, all kinds of trees that I think you're really going to enjoy. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, share with a friend, give it a thumbs up right now because it really helps the channel. Consider subscribing and if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss what's next. Working on the home tour is coming soon. All right, you guys, this video is already long, so let's get started with Christmas tree decorating idea number one. All right, so now that our ribbons are laid, and I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous with all of the glitter, and this red ribbon that looks like a Santa coat is just absolutely gorgeous. So the thing that I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some of these really oversized ornaments, and I'm gonna look for prominent spots that are empty like this right here, and just by grabbing that wire, as you guys can see, you don't have to twist a lot. The wire really disappears, and I'm gonna go ahead and look for another spot like right here to make sure that we're starting to fill in those gaps. As you guys can see, this red really helps. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this side and add one right here. And then also we have these white ones that I absolutely love, and this also will help fill in the gaps like right here. See, and what I like about doing all this pre-wiring is because you can just grab your ornament, find the space where you need Let's see, this is getting tight. And that's what I like about putting the ribbon first, because if you put your ribbon first, then you fill in a lot of the dead spaces on your tree, like that, look at that. How cute is that? All right, I have a few more of this one. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and add. You wanna save these big pointy uh, stems or bristles to hang your dangly ornaments, and I'll show you in a second. But let me find another spot right here. So I'm gonna add a white ornament these white ornaments, the, the tree is flat, so they're really just helping to fill in some of those gaps. You know what, I'm gonna grab my step tool, sorry if I disappear, to add this one over to the top. This is a seven and a half foot tree, and it is perfect size for this room, because I like my tree to look oversized, and as you guys can see, this is sitting on the top of a sleigh, so it's probably about eight foot tall all the way to the ceiling and I just absolutely love the way this look. All right, so let me stand back a little bit. I'm gonna go over to this side one more time. The other thing is like you don't wanna repeat them too close. You want to distribute the red all evenly. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here on the back. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is a selection of these black and white ornaments that I absolutely love. The shapes, I love this onion shape, I love this finial shape. And like I told you earlier, I saved the longest tips to add my ornaments. They have this dangling effect. And as you guys can see, it really is helping to fill in the tree and you wanna let them hang down like this. And you find places where there's nothing in it. And just grab an ornament, if you don't have a wire, just go ahead and put that ornament in and then twist it around and look at that. It just stays wherever you want it to be. I'm gonna finish doing the black and whites and I'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, so the last step is going to be, well, the last step when it comes down to ornaments, adding specialty ornaments, and those are the ones that are differently shaped, like this red one, this gold one, and then look at this beauty right here. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? It looks like a chandelier, and it's just so pretty. But remember to always add all of the same ornaments at the same time to create balance into your tree. So I'm gonna go ahead once again and just wrap this tiny little wire into my bristle and just look for places where they really dangle like this right here. Then just go once and let it dangle like that. 
I absolutely love this one. Look how gorgeous this is with all of the glitter. Just absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna come over here. And don't forget to go all the way up. So if you're adding some over here to the bottom, then go to the top and look for a place where you can put an ornament, um, like right here. What I like about the shape of this tree is because it really gives you the space to hang beautiful ornaments and they're displayed so beautifully. So I'm gonna add one right here. And of course you guys will see uh, shots and close-ups of this coming soon. All right, so I'm gonna add this black one right over on this side. And look at that, that black really stands out on the white flock tree and it's turning out so, so pretty. All right, let's see right here. And once again, all you have to do is grab that stem and then have your wire just go one, two. That way when they come out, you don't have to wrestle them. So I'm gonna add one right here. As you guys can see, I'm just going one, two, pull that wire and it all stay exactly where I put it. Now the other tip I can give you is like, put it as, uh, hang it as close as to the stem as you can, like right, let's see. Let me do one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead all the way to the stem, then just throw that around and look at that, it hangs exactly where I want it. Let me see, I think I have to put one of these ones on the bottom right here to balance my tree. And now I have these really pretty finials that they really need to dangle. So I have to find prominent spots like right here and just grab my ribbon and twist it. Look how pretty these are. These are so long and so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here. And at this point is when the ornaments start to overlap with each other and you can really see the depth and dimension of this tree is turning out so gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna get ready for the stems and the rest of the items that we're gonna put on this tree. We're almost finished, keep watching. All right, so I took a minute to stand away from this tree and assess it and see where I need the next item, which is going to be these gorgeous stems. I have two types. I have this really pretty gold one. Let me move it so I can show you the other one. And then I have this berry that is red and glitter and it has all these ornaments. But as you guys know, I like to add one stem at a time. So we're gonna start with this guy right here. So you wanna look for places like here. And then when you insert your stem, don't insert it straight forward, but go down a little bit. So that stem stands out as you guys can see. If you were to, I'll show you in a second. If you were to just put your stem flat, Look how flat it looks. All right, so two things. One, you have to fluff every single wire that you have right here. And then when you insert your stem, I'm gonna go over to this side so you guys can see. Go ahead and insert it going down so that way it stands out and away from the tree. So that's another tip we use in the industry to make our trees look more gorgeous. All right, so I have two. I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here going down like that and look at that. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? I have a few more. Now these are unfortunately from my co personal collection that I've been gathering for a few years. I looked through my box and I happen to have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here. Like that. Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. I get so excited. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the whole room put together. It's just looking so beautiful and so whimsical and Christmassy and it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to do, so I went like this, so I need to get my stool and I'm gonna kind of reassess right here where I need one. And I feel like we need one right here. And remember, go down on your tree. Sometimes when you are all the way up here, you have to game a bend like this to make sure that it goes down with the stem. Look at that. How fun. Or let me not break a leg over here. You know, in the show business, they say break a leg. Well, I did hurt a thumb. So if you guys saw me on uh, Instagram, I did a story about how I almost took my thumb out decorating the dining room. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know what you're missing, all the behind the scenes. All right, let's see. So let me reassess. I feel like we need one over on this side. And just do it going down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this red one. Now this is really pretty. This guy and like most of this stuff is from Shinoda Design Center. And what I like about this stuff is you have to really fluff it and touch all of these little balls and make sure that they are 
all going the same way and we're gonna do the exact same thing with this one. I'm gonna give it a little bit of curvature right here and I'm gonna start over on this side and I'm going to go down and look at this. Adding this stem really adds a lot of character because not only it has the berries, but it has the ornaments. It is super long, so it really adds that depth and dimension. However, you do have to, like I said, fluff this guy and make sure you give every berry a little character. And look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe one right here. And just go down, facing down, and look at that. It just extends the shape of your tree. If you were to not fluff, and just add it like this. Look how this uncharacteristic, it's just like a stick. But I'm gonna go ahead and fluff and then I'm gonna put it on the exact same spot so you guys can see what fluffing your stem. And I think at this point you guys already know, I mean, we've been decorating here at Ramona Home in uh, our whole lives for Christmas, but do give it a little curvature like this. I'm gonna add it exactly where I put it before just so you guys can see that by fluffing this stem, just go ahead and give this curvature. Look how fun. All right, well, I'm gonna finish adding these red stems. I'll be right back with you. I think we're about done, so keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to decorate the perfect Christmas tree in a gold theme step by step. Keep watching. All right, so the tree comes in different parts. Number one is going to be the top. So I'm going to put this box down so I can show you real quick. So it comes with this pole right here and this pole usually sits in another form and then it has legs. Well, like I showed you before, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here in the foam and you can just hear it go all the way down. I have my cord, I'm gonna put it to the back. Make sure that it's on the back. I'm sorry if I disappear, but I have my extension cord right here to make sure that all of our lights work. So this is step number one. Now I do like to fluff my tree as I go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fluff this guy first that way I make sure that it's all fluffed out and the way I do that is I like to touch every single branch and poking up the ones that have the lights you want those lights to show in decorating this gorgeous Christmas tree in a gold theme is going to be to add our ribbons what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the shear first and I'm going to go ahead and do a little dovetail like this I'm going to go down and I'm going to do a two loop bow and remember that you always have to flip your ribbon to where your glitter is so this is obviously my glitter side. I wasn't doing it backwards. We're gonna do a loop like this. Then we're gonna do, actually because this is gonna be on the very top, I'm going to do a three loop right here. And then we're going to grab one of our wires. And this is the easiest technique I can tell you guys on how to add ribbon to your Christmas tree. So I'm gonna grab one of these wires and I'm gonna go ahead and wire this together like this. I'm going to give it a little spin like this and then I'm going to attach this to the very top just by swirling that wire around into the top of the tree. Then you want to go ahead and just fluff those loops. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one right here. Then I'm going to grab one of my wires and I'm going to wire this together like this. It's just a single loop. Twist it around and then what we're going to do is I'm going to grab right here and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it goes all the way down so it looks like you kind of have a funky bow but it's actually three types of ribbons look at that how perfect is that and then of course we'll fluff at the end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going down by making loops so I'm going to go ahead and do one loop right here make sure that you give it a lot of give because once we start putting ornaments and other items you kind of lose the ribbon and then you grab one of those bristles and just twist it around and it creates this loop right here. Then I'm gonna do the same with this gold ribbon right here. Just give it a lot of give, twist some of your branches to it. 
I'm gonna go to this side, sorry if I cross on this side. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this one. I'm gonna give it a lot of give, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right next to it. Just grabbing these bristles, we're going to go ahead and twist. Then I'm gonna do a two loop. We want it to be a show wear part of it. Grab your wire, just twist it around real quick, tie it, and then go all the way in where this ribbon ended. We're gonna go all the way in. We're gonna grab one of the bristles and we're just gonna attach that wire to it. And that way, look, it gives you a bow right here. Okay, step number three is going to be to add some of these larger ornaments. And I have a selection of gold and uh, some ones with a pattern and just some shiny and matte ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drive a wire through it. This is about a six inch wire, then you kind of bend it in half and give it a little twist. And it gives you these two tails with a hanging ornament. And the reason I like to do this is because I like to just go ahead and place this ornament right here. And look, it'll just stay where it is. Now these ones are pre-wired from last year that I show you how to decorate the Balsam Hill Christmas tree. Do you guys remember the Balsam Hill Christmas tree? If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link it up on the iCar right now and also on the description box so you can check it out. It was probably my favorite Christmas tree that I've ever decorated because the ornaments were just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna flip to this side member. You have to work on this kind of ladder motion. And I want some of these bigger ornaments here to show. So basically you just wire that into the tree and then you hide the stem. And these bigger ornaments are actually perfect for larger holes in your tree like this. Look at that, it just fills in beautifully. I'm gonna grab one more one and I'm gonna add Another one right here in the top now. Okay, who remembers the cluster ornaments? I have a whole video talking about the cluster ornaments and how to make them. If you have not seen that video, I'm gonna link it down in the description box below. I really do think that it's so worth watching. You look for a spot like right here where there's a hole. You just go ahead and add this cluster and it automatically just adds all of these ornaments at once. When you have little clusters like this, I like to add them to the bottom and let them kind of hang down. And if you have way too much wire, I really recommend to just go ahead and clip it off and save it. You might need it for another cluster. So I'm gonna continue to add clusters to my tree, like right here. And you want them to be in prominent spots, especially these smaller ones so they really show. If you have a larger cluster like this one right here, I, have, I am obsessed over this cluster. Are you guys ready for step number four? That's going to be adding florals. And I bought these beautiful golden white poinsettias at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love the way they look. They're super glam. And what you need to do with these poinsettias is really touch every single wire there is. There's wire on the berries, wire on the cluster, wire right here, even wires right here on the little berries in the bottom of the flower. So make sure that you spike them all out to give them as much life. Then what I want you to do is give your flower a little bit of a curvature find a beautiful spot for it and just go ahead and place it in and look at that now when you place it in don't place all of your flowers facing towards the front make sure that you give them a little character i'll show you what i mean once again just go ahead and touch every single wire right here make sure that you fluff every foliage every berry even the ones right here on the bottom of the flower what you would consider the pollen. Make sure that you grab every single wire to give it a lot of character. And you give it a little bit of a curvature and then you grab your flower and then you add it sideways. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure to add that right there. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, I'm gonna swap sides. I have about 12 of these, so keep watching. All right, everyone, so our fifth and final step is going to be to add some stems and picks, anything that really comes out of the tree and it's what really sets it apart and it brings it alive. So I have this really beautiful boxwood that is glittering gold and I have cut it into pieces. This is something that I already had for many years. I think this came from Michael's a long time ago. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put that like that and let it just come out of the tree. It is super easy. You might wanna start actually from the top to make sure that you have some up here coming up. 
Make sure you put some on the top right here. And look how beautiful that is. That just really gives it so much character. Be sure to you bend it and give it character. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this right here. You could hang ornaments from them. At this point, it has so much gold that I think we're gonna stop while we're ahead, as my ex-boss used to say. But look at that, just adding that little bit of extra dimension to your tree. I am so in love with this. It's gonna be so painful to take it apart. I don't really want to, but as you guys can see, there is no rhyme or reason. You have some other picks that are like more girthy. Just go ahead and tuck them in in places where you feel like there is a hole or a void. And this one that really comes out, really let it stick out. And I really recommend to go to the bottom branches and go ahead and add some to your bottom branches like this. So it really extends the form of your tree like this one right here. Just go ahead and position one like that. Look how pretty that is. Just extends the form of your tree. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. I'm gonna add a few more over on this side. Maybe one right here by this poinsettia. And I love the combination of this gold and of white and this champagne color because it really makes it look very glam and very, very elegant. I did a Christmas tree like this a few years ago and it just went crazy on Pinterest. I'm gonna put a picture right now, right here so you guys can see it. It was actually my first Christmas tree I've ever decorated and it was done with old borrowed things that a friend of mine let me borrow. So I, I went crazy. She had so many Christmas ornaments and decorations that she's like, hey, you wanna borrow some of this Christmas decor? I was like, uh, yeah. So I remember I put that Christmas tree together and it was just so much fun. All right, let's see, next one right here. And then to finish it all off, I have one left of these pretty ones. So I'm gonna add this right here. To finish it off, I'm just gonna use some of these larger stems and I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a bend. I'm gonna start right here on the top and just let it go down like this. Look how beautiful that looks. That's what really sets your Christmas tree apart, you guys. These longer stems. I always tell people that I recommend to save money all throughout the year so that when Christmas comes, we can really load our Christmas trees with beautiful, good quality product. All right, everyone, so to decorate our Christmas tree in the snowman theme for this year, what we're going to need is this beautiful black and white ribbon. This has got a scripture, this is Jingle Bell, so we're gonna use this throughout the uh, tree. We're also gonna use the same zigzag sequin ribbon that we used on our mantle, on our lantern, and our wreath with the snowman theme. Then for this guy right here, I'm gonna use this really big snowman plaque that I found at Walmart and this is super cute because the eyes are some bottle caps and then it has a lot of really cute detail and it's all handcrafted wood. We're also going to use a variety of clusters of ornaments and it's gonna be super fun. So let's just get started. All right, the very first thing I do when I decorate a Christmas tree is I like to lay my ribbons. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and let it drop and I'm gonna start right here on the very top and by using our own bristles what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay this ribbon and I don't even have to tie it because this snowed tree and actually came from Walmart in case you're wondering it's so full then all you have to do is just basically put it as far in as you can come back out give it a little swirl like that go back in and then keep coming back out go in you could attach it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because you, after we put all the ornaments and all the things that we're gonna put in it, you really don't need to attach. So you basically just go back in right here and you make sure that you fluff that ribbon so the pretty part shows. I'm gonna go right here. 
right here. And as you guys can see, I'm just pulling or pushing as far in as I can with my ribbon. So I'm gonna use the rest of this bolt. This ribbon came from Shinoda Design Center. They have the most wonderful selection of ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and make sure that you go all the way down. And when you attach your ribbon, make sure that you go ahead and fluff the pretty part out like this. And the reason why I chose this black and white ribbon is because I painted some walls here in the house black and I think they're just going to be beautiful with this black and white ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and come back out and attach. And I'm gonna go to the back of the tree. Never forget to decorate the back of your tree because if it's going to be seen from all angles and you just wanna go ahead and make sure that is fully decorated all the way around. So once we have our black and white ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in. Actually, I'm gonna put the snowman in. He's gonna be our focal point. So I'm gonna select an area where I want it to be and I'm gonna go ahead and bury him in as far in as I can. And by using this little twine or rope that it comes in, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach one of the branches and twist it and that'll hold it in place. And then what you can do is Pull some of these guys right here like this and then pull another one right here like this and just go ahead and give them a little bend and that'll support that snowman and it's not going anywhere. All right, so now that I have my focal point on my tree, I can decorate around it. But the very first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my, uh, my ornament garland that I showed you guys how to make last year. And also I showed you this on, here it is on our mental video. If you guys haven't seen how I made this garland of ornaments, I'm gonna link it up right now on the top of the screen so you can go ahead and watch it. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy just go like this. And what that's gonna do is just gonna go ahead and give us a little bit of uh, ornament texture. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start adding all of my clusters of ornaments. I also have a video on how to make these clusters of ornaments. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right here and just grab that little pipe cleaner that you attached your ornaments with, as you guys can see right here, and go ahead and attach into one of the branches. And if you have to, go ahead and use one of those um, bristles to really attach it to the tree. And I have made so many of this. I also love these guys right here. And don't forget to go all the way to the bottom as well as on the top. Now, I have heard a lot of people that they don't like to put bigger ornaments towards the top of the tree because it loses its tree shape. Well, what you really need to do is just go ahead and bury them. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go ahead and add some big ones here to the top. And what I do is like, I just push as far in as I can and that way you don't lose that tree shape. And then I'm gonna save some of the biggest ones like this guy right here to put all the way here on the bottom. And like I said, make sure you just go bury in into the tree and look, you just have a big old cluster of ornaments and that way you don't have to go ahead and add as many. I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here. And I chose this really beautiful color palette for my tree this year with reds and greens and all of the fun colors and I just let them hang like that. I'm gonna, I have a few more. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably go right here with it. And just with that pipe cleaner, go ahead and attach it. And as you guys can see, it is faster. I have a few more. It is way faster and it fills in just your gaps so beautifully. Look at that, you just have clusters and clusters of ornaments. Let me go into this side and I'm gonna go right here. And when you hang them, just go ahead and make sure that all of your ornaments are showing like that. I think I have one more right here that I'm gonna go ahead and add. And I'm gonna add it pretty right about here. All right, so, so far so good. It's filling up with ornaments. I also love it, your traditional colors of snowmen. Then what I'm gonna go ahead and is I'm gonna go ahead and add this beautiful bow and I'm gonna add a few of them. But this guy right here, I have shown you how to make for the uh, matching wreath to this tree. If you have not seen either the matching wreath or the lantern or the mantle that I have done decorated in the snowman theme to go with this tree. I'm gonna link them up down below so you guys can check out the whole cohesive look of the snowman. But what I'm going to do with this bow, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here like if it was on our snowman's shirt, all right? And because I 
have these ornaments right here. I want to make sure that I go ahead and see them and you fluff this bow. And that way it looks like our snowman has a bow on. But then what I'm going to do is to fill in our Christmas tree, I'm going to make a few more of these bows and I'm just going to go ahead and attach them randomly on the tree. And if you're wondering how I make these bows, well, let me just show you real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this beautiful ribbon, which is our designer ribbon. I'm going to drop a little bit. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tail like that. I'm going to pinch. And I want this ribbon, these bows to be really loopy and loose. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and do a two. And for this type of bow, if you notice, I'm just going to do three of them, three loops. And they're all different sizes. Like I said, I want it to be very loose and floppy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a red. I'm going to give it just one tail with a red. Then I'm going to go ahead and do one loop. With a red, I'm going to do two. All right. So that way you have this. And then we're going to go in with this green one. So it has all of the colors of the ribbon. And I'm, with this one, I'm just going to do one. And then I'm going to let that go down. Then with my pipe cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and attach all of this together with a pipe cleaner. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series. I cannot wait to show you the rest. I'm working super hard to bring up more ideas on the Glen farmhouse and traditional looks as well as the snowman. But if you guys enjoy this series, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Feel free to tell me what other videos you wanna see next. All right, so I have a bow right here. I have one on his shirt or where his shirt would be. So I'm gonna go on this side right here and I'm gonna attach one right here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and twist one of those pipe cleaners into one of the bristles. And once you have your bow, what you need to do is just go ahead and fluff it and make it, oop, there goes an ornament. And just go ahead and fluff it and give it a full look and make sure that all of your designer reads are showing their dovetails. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this red sparkly ribbon and I'm just gonna make a bow like that and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go in and insert it into the tree and just let those tails show. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to cut this guy in half. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. Like this. Then I'm going to dab tail, of course. Because there's nothing uglier than an undab tail tail. Put my scissors right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just pinch it in half. And then you go ahead and insert into the tree and that's going to give it a lot of look. Look at this. All right. You basically just fold them in half and you insert and it's going to give you a lot of tails. You can do the same with the designer ribbon. Uh, you can do the same with the green ribbon. You can do the same with the, with the black and white ribbon like this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and fold it in half, cut it. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half again and I'm just going to go ahead and insert ribbon so it really fluffs out. I learned this trick when I went to market in Atlanta when I used to go buy merchandise for the store where I worked. Look, they just do tails like that and it looks like there's a lot of bows on your tree but there really isn't. So then to finish this tree off, what I'm going to do is I have this box of ornaments right here and they're all snowman themed ornaments as you guys can see and I like these guys to sit on top of everything that we've just done. So you find a branch, you insert your ornament, and then you face it forward. Like I said, I want to sit in front of everything else that we have just done. So basically go like this. And these ornaments, believe it or not, all of them came from the dollar store. So they're super affordable. And just randomly place them like that, let them hang. I have so many of these guys, like I show you guys on the holes that I've done. So I'm gonna go on this side. I'm gonna let it hang right here. And then I have these stained glass ornaments that have these cute little snowmen. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that right there. And I also have a few of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy probably right here. Just let it hang. And I have one more that I'm gonna put a hang over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hang this really pretty Noel ornament. It's getting pretty full at this point, so I'm just going to go ahead and 
Well, no, I don't want them to repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and go on this side and let them hang over here. And that way your tree is looking so full and there's nothing more beautiful than a really full tree like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put the last one of these down here on the bottom. And to top it all off, you guys, what I have bought and found at Walmart is this Christmas tree topper in the shape of the snowman hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and place this guy up here on the top, insert some of those branches and let it tilt to one side like so. And voila, you have yourself a beautifully decorated snowman theme Christmas tree for this holiday season. Thumbs up if you like it. All right, so I'm gonna do a two loop and then I'm going to grab my wire. I'm gonna swirl around and then I'm gonna put one right here when I have only one. So now I'm gonna do a three loop bow and look how gorgeous that is. It just adds a bow, a bigger bow to that area. And then instead of going down that way, of course, I am going to flip it around to get all that glitter and then I'm going to go this way. So I'm gonna do another big loop right here so basically you're just filling in all of those spots that you don't have ribbon in. And you're basically doing bow right here, bow right here, bow right here. And then I'm going to do another cute little soup right here. I'm gonna grab my scissors. You know, I need me like a tool belt where I can put all my, all my tools like that. Let's see, I'm gonna do one right here to kind of fill in and go down. So you guys kind of get the idea. I'm going to finish the ribbon, this type of ribbon, and I'll be right back with you, so stay tuned. Okay, so I have finished with the first two ribbons, and what I'm going to do now to add some texture, I'm going to bring a one and a half inch ribbon. And what I'm going to do, because it's so small, you can add dovetail at one and a half. What I'm going to do is, I'm just basically gonna give it a little tail like this. And then what I want to do is just make bigger bows. So I'm going to do maybe a three loop bow. And then I'm gonna grab a wire and I'm gonna attach all of this together. And so basically I just wanna put some cute little bows in between the ones that we have on the tree. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right here we have a two bow. So now I just wanna go ahead and add this cute little bow. And this is more like an ornament uh, than bow laying. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and give it the same loop right here. And see how it just adds a little bit more texture because now you have a wider and medium and now a really thin ribbon. And with this one, you don't need really a lot. So you basically just cut on an angle. You wanna leave your tails. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing up on the top. So I'm gonna do a three so it looks fuller. And this ribbon is so pretty, it, it almost feels like paper, but it's made out of some sort of silk. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all the way to the top and see how it's a three loop bow with a little tail. So now I'm gonna open right here and I'm gonna bring this guy up to the top and you fluff it. And so now you have this ribbon what you want to do is you want to go ahead and give it some loops like this. All right, so the next step is going to be to add some of these flocked picks to kind of blend in the white on the ribbon with the green of the tree. And remember, I like to start on the bottom. And what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and um, kind of give it a twist with the bristle. If you're going to put your tree where you have kids or grandkids. And like I said, I'm going to start from the bottom and then I'm going to move up. So I'm gonna go ahead and find spots and look how it's like, like what I like to call the flyaways and the flower arrangement, it really is giving it life. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here. So that's five. Let me go ahead and add one right here. And 
when you insert your pick, make sure that you go ahead and insert it like this. So it gives it some fly. So it gives it some texture. And there's going to be another pick that I'm going to add towards the end. So now I'm going to get my ornaments ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my ornaments right here. And I just want to show you how you do not need a whole bunch of ornaments to make your Christmas tree look gorgeous. All you need is a few larger ornaments like this one, your wire. And what I'm going to do now that you have all the ribbons and these picks, you want to strategically start placing these ornaments and just give it a little twist with a wire like this. That's why it's so important to have all of your wires at the ready. So that way your Christmas tree decorating is not taking long, especially if you are out decorating Christmas for clients, you definitely don't want to take forever because well, even though they charge you by the hour, you probably have like many jobs to do. And I've been to the spot where I've had like literally like 12 trees to decorate in one day. And so you don't want to take a whole bunch of time. Um, and then also your clients are probably looking at you like, well, how long is this going to take? How much is this going to cost me? All right. So I'm going to add this one right here. I'm going to add all of the red ones and I just had four. So I want to make sure that I mentioned that they are larger ornaments. So therefore they show more than if you have a whole bunch of little ones, just poke at it. Remember I told you at the beginning of the season that we were going to do bigger this year. Well, the reason why is because I really want to show you that you need like four or five ornaments. I'm going to add this one over on this side to fill in your tree and not will spend a lot of money. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these white ones that I love. These are from Shinoda Design Center and they have this iridescence to them. What I want to do now is make sure that I add this ornament somewhere close to where I put the last one because you want to have clusters or bundles of ornaments close together so they show more. So I'm going to show you one more time. So I have this one right here. I'm going to select yet another one of these larger white ones and I'm going to go ahead and put it somewhere close to it. I'm going to open this right here. And so I'm going to attach, look for a bristle because you have to put on a bristle so it doesn't come crashing down, especially if they are glass ornaments. So basically just like that. So I want to have all of these ornaments close together. Okay. So now that you have all of your ravens and all of your ornaments, in your tree, what you want to do is grab a flyaway pick, and these are from Hobby Lobby. They are also about $2 a piece, and they're kind of short, but look what this is going to do. So I'm going to grab where the ornaments are, and I'm just going to put this pick right here, and I'm going to let it fly out. When you insert a flyaway pick like this, just make sure that you do it sideways, so that way it really sticks out on your tree. Okay, so just when you think you're done, you might want to go ahead and put some of these poinsettias. They are from Hobby Lobby. How gorgeous are this? They're made out of a velvet material. It looks like a Santa coat. So I'm going to grab a few spots and look at that. Oh my gosh. That is what really just makes it come alive. And you want to fluff these guys. Make sure that they are really pretty fluffed and look at let me see let me put one right here you might want to look for some spots they are very prominent let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine petals for three dollars you guys how fun is this let me see i'm gonna add one oh i'm gonna add one right here and i have a few more to go oops i just dropped one how gorgeous is this? I think I'm just going to have to leave it. I cannot take this down. I'm going to add it right here. What do you guys say? Should I leave it up? Leave me a comment down below if this is the theme that I should keep up. Actually, you know what? I should give this to my mom because we have, uh, I have a nephew. She has a grandkid. And I think that he would really enjoy this because it's so colorful. I'm going to add one right here. I'm going to add this guy over to this side. And like I said, these are from Hobby Lobby and they're super duper affordable. They were like $3 a piece and they really just changed the look of your tree. As you can see, I'm going to add this one right here over here. Let me drop it. And so what I want to do with that is I'm going to grab these cute little characters that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this guy, I'm going to let him sit over here and then I'm going to grab this ribbon and swirl his little hat so he stands right there. 
And before I do anything else, let me go ahead and I took the tag off of one, but I forgot the other one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the other one, sorry to cross over here, and then I'm gonna put him over here like that. How fun is that? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ah, I love it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab this garland that came from Shinoda Design Center. And I love it because it has all of the peppermints that we're going to need. So I'm gonna first make sure that he stops swirling around and just swirl him to whatever side he's going. I'm gonna add some ornaments right here to him as if he is holding this garland and he's helping his friend over here. Let's see. Decorate this beautiful Christmas tree. How fun. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, everyone, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add some picks to my tree and I've selected the exact same long needle pine that I have on the swag on the window, but this in the form of a pick. Now I'm also gonna leave the description and where you can find this. So if you want some of this, they can send it to you. And I'm also gonna use some of this magnolia. What I like to mention about this magnolia is this more on a lime green, because as you guys can see, the ribbon has green, but it's more on a lime green, which gives it a more modern twist. So I'm gonna start with the long needle pine and then we'll do the magnolia, keep watching. All right, so to add this long needle pine, what you need to do is really need to fluff it out, give it a little comb to it. And then just go ahead and add it right here and then grab one of your bristles and just pull it up and that will keep it in place. I absolutely love the look of this long needle pine because it really does make it look more wispy and natural. It really changes the look of any inexpensive tree as you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. Then I'm just gonna secure it by adding one of my bristles like that. And look at that, it really does extend the shape of your tree and it gives it another texture, which is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna add one up here and look at that that will just stay now like i said because it is sitting higher from um, the ground because it's going to be in an urn you will not need as many ornaments if you put more texture on your tree the more texture you put in it with your ribbons and your picks and your stems then you don't need to buy as many ornaments just a few bigger ornaments will really do the trick for this tree so i'm going to add one up here or down here just by adding my look at that it'll just stay there I have a few left, so I have to step back and look and see where I need one. So I'm gonna add one right here. Just grab my stem and pull it up like that. I have one more. Are you guys enjoying this Christmas season as much as I am? I know I love Christmas, but I also know that I cannot be the only one that is just crazy over Christmas. And I'm just so glad that it's November so we can really focus on decorating for the holidays. I am so ready for this year to be over so we can see what 2021 will bring for us. And just a little, um, just a little uh, fun fact, I'm recording this on election day. So this was November 3rd, because I don't know when it will be out, but. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some magnolia. Like I said, just adding some texture, but don't forget to fluff your magnolia, just every single foliage like this. And once again, I'm gonna give you guys um, on the description box where I got all of the materials in case you like them and want to order some. Look how pretty that is. That's so beautiful. And you really don't need many of them. As you guys can see, it really is filling out. If you just take your time to fluff every single foliage, then you will need as many as you think you will and you don't need to spend a lot of money. But the secret is on the fluffing. 
If you don't flatten, if you put it flat, the flatter you put it, the more you're gonna need. All right, so I decided to do a natural theme here in the dining room because the theme in the living room, it's really wild and really beautiful and festive. So I just decided that for the dining room, I wanted to do something a little bit less exciting and a little bit more traditional. It is still pretty exciting because I'm really having a lot of fun, but I just wanted to show you guys different themes for the holiday season. And I'm having a blast, let me just tell you. All right, I'm gonna add this one right here. I'm gonna add one here on the top. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness, I am in love with this look. I'm gonna go to this side and add one pair right here. And remember, just grab one of your bristles and just twist it into the stem, fold it into the stem and look at that. But don't forget to fluff all of these foliages so they really show. I to add something right here on the bottom because our tree is going to be standing up. So I'm gonna add a red one right there. Then I'm gonna move on and add a lime green one right here. So that's two. I'm gonna add a red one. Let me, let me see, I don't know how close I am, but I have to stand back and... I'm gonna add it up here and then because I have the red one right here, I want to bring a lime green and set it right on top of it. Do you guys remember that in our last Christmas tree video, I told you that this particular kind of tree that is like really fluffy and there's no uh, armature in the branches is more for designing. Think of when you're making a wreath or a swag or a garland, this is basically the same thing. This is not to hang ornaments on it because there's nowhere to hang ornaments, it's just to design. So today's design is going to be very traditional, woodsy, foresty. And to change the look of this particular Christmas tree, I'm gonna use a few of these beautiful long needle pine garlands. And I bought this at a little store in Kansas and this, I would not design something woodsy and foresty without any of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here on the top and I'm going to attach this by adding a few of these bristles and just twisting them. And you guys will see how this will change the look of this tree so much. So basically what I need to do is I need to go ahead and swag it like this and then I'm going to come down. But I want to make sure that I attach it to the tree really well because I really wanted to come down like this and I'm gonna go here I use this also on my I think I used it on my mom's stairs last or two years ago oh my gosh I can't believe it's been two years since I decorated my mom's house for Christmas if you guys have not seen my mom's home tour decorated for Christmas I'm gonna link it on the iCard right here so you can check it out also in the description box below that was perhaps one of my favorite videos that I've ever done decorating my mom's house for Christmas it was so much fun and so meaningful all right, so once you have it like that, I have another piece right here. And for this one, I'm gonna go over here on the bottom. And I'm just gonna, actually, I'm gonna continue right here. And just make sure, like I said, grab a few bristles. Sorry if I'm giving you my back a lot, but sometimes you just, you just have to do it. Like this, and then over here in the back. Once you attach your long needle pine garland, what you need to do is you need to go in there and fluff every single branch like this. Make sure that you give him some life, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here. And I want this to go up all the way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach right here. How pretty is this, you guys? And I'm going to attach the, like this. So that gives us a different feel, but this guy does not wanna stay. You know what, I'm gonna change it because I don't think it's gonna stay. So basically I'm just gonna go up one and then down. Now we're talking. All right, so I'm gonna take a second to fluff all of this and I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back. So what I need to do is dovetail. You know, we always start our, our ribbons by dovetailing them so they're finished. So what I'm going to do, this is gonna be something different. We've, We've done loops going like this. Well, we're going to do something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a maybe 
a single loop. I'm gonna do a single loop because I don't want this ribbon to be so uh, overpowering on the tree. I want it to be simple because it's more of a woodsy theme, so I don't want it to be too glammy. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna add this, but not on the very top. I'm gonna grab a branch. I'm just gonna push all the way in and I'm gonna attach right there. So basically just one loop. All right, everyone, so the next thing I'm gonna add after I added the ribbon, the magnolia, and the long needle pine is I wanna add some of these really ginormous pine cones that I found at Hobby Lobby. And I want them to really come out like this on the tree so they really show. So what I'm going to do is I have a um, pipe cleaner on them because I they're long. And so I'm going to go in here and I just wanna let them rest on my tree, but I wanna make sure that I attach it to a bristle right here on the back. So I want them to really show because they're very natural. Let's see, where else do I need one? I need one right about here. Maybe right about here. Just stick your hand in there and grab a bristle and attach it so it doesn't come crashing down on you in the middle of your Christmas celebration. We don't want that. That's a no-no, it's happened to me before. <laughs> like that. And then I'm going to add yet another one up here on the top. Probably right here. I'm gonna remove this magnolia and I'll put it back in just so it covers some of the mechanics, but I want it right here. So what I need to do is move and finesse all of this. And remember, we always, always, always go back and fluff at the end. We will not leave this house without fluffing all of our ornaments. Now I'm gonna add this magnolia back in here, like that. And as you can see, it just covers some of that mechanic. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some of these really natural ornaments that look almost like pine cones, but they're not. And I'm just gonna add those all throughout the Christmas tree so they look very natural. I'm gonna go over to this side. And so you just wanna find the bristle like here and then attach it. And here's a secret. If you want it to look like it's just growing from the branch, just swirl it around and let it rest like that. I also wanna add some towards the bottom so I keep elongating the shape of my tree. So I'm gonna add one right here. And I'm going to add another one over here, like that. And I'm going to add, let's see, where do I need another one? I feel like I, I, we need another one right over here. Just let your eye dictate where is it that the ornament wants to live, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in some ornaments and I'll be right back. Stay tuned, I think you're gonna like it. Okay, what's gonna give this um, tree a bit of a glam look is going to be a few of these gold ornaments. So you guys know that I like to wire them together and I'm gonna start on this side over here and I'm gonna add one. I just wanna make sure that I push it in so it's not sticking out from the tree and it's not taken away from the shape. I feel like I need another one probably right here. And what I like about these ornaments is that they are larger than normal. This is, okay, this is your large, medium, and small. Anything smaller than this, I would not put on a tree like this because you would lose the impact of it. So I'm gonna add one right here. And look how I'm pushing all the way in. So they basically just peek a in into my tree. I'm gonna add another one. Let's see, and I have to kinda get away from it to see where is it that I need the ornament to live. So I'm gonna add one right here. And I just stick my hand in there and look for a bristle and then just attach it once or twice and let it hang out like this. All right, so now I'm gonna add a few red ones and I'm just gonna add two because we have a lot of red with uh, the ribbon. So I'm going to add, remember when you're adding ornaments, you wanna cluster them together so they are living together like this and they look, well, they, they show better than if you were to just poke at that ornaments sold throughout the tree. So I'm gonna add one right here. And now I'm gonna move on to just a few green ones. I wanna add about five of the green ones to kinda represent the green on the ribbon and to also give us that traditional look that we're going for. So I'm gonna attach one right here. Okay, if you've been following Ramona Holmes for any amount of time and if you've seen any of my decorating Christmas trees, you know that I do not do a Christmas tree without flyaways. And for this particular tree, I found some of these beautiful flyaways 
um, at our local store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding those. And I'm going to start right here on the top. Remember to give them a little bit of a curvature like this. I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see the glitter. So basically, I'm going to start up here on the top. And what this is going to do is going to give it that three-dimensional feel to your tree. And I'm going to add one right here. And it's going to start to create that beautiful designer look on your Christmas tree that you are looking for. Look at that. It's just going to add that sparkle, that touch that it needs. And you just let your eye dictate where is it that you want your flyaways to live. So basically you have garland, ornament, ribbon, flyaway. If you can get a hold of all those four items, you're always going to have a gorgeous design Christmas tree. And I am loving the way this looks. I'm going to add one right here. And don't be afraid to like lift some of the things that you have in it. Go ahead and fluff it and insert the things that you need to insert because that's what's going to give your tree life. And I cannot wait. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I want to see your pictures. I want to see your Christmas tree. Send me a DM. Send them to me on Facebook. I really want to see what you've done this holiday season. Look at this, you guys. It's all about the flyaways. I have a few more that I'm going to add. I'm going to add one right here. Remember to fluff like this. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? All right, I'm going to add one right here on the back. I have a few more I'm going to add. I'm going to give it a fluff and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I want to show you a close-up of what the tree looks like, all decorated in a traditional woodsy theme. I love the way this turned out with the big pine cones and the glitter on the stems, the ribbon, and all of the ornaments. It just turned out so beautiful. The magnolia just gives it that very natural feel. And the ribbons are very traditional to Christmas, which makes me want to go somewhere and have a coffee and sit outside on a woodsy park. I hope you guys like it. I cannot wait to read your comments. All right, everyone, so now I'm gonna show you how we can add about $30 worth of Walmart product and change the look of this Dollar Tree Christmas tree. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna start with a ribbon. So I found this uh, ribbon at Walmart. It is a rose gold, so this is also when we introduce a rose gold. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and make some bows, and I'm gonna do a little tail right here. I'm gonna do a prior a six loop bow. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just drop it on the floor like I always do. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just add myself some tails. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just finish right here. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab a pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. And what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead, first of all, let me take this tape off. Is I'm gonna go ahead and add these bows into my tree to add a little bit of color and interest, right? Make sure that you fluff them. And I have pre-made some of them. In some of them, I left a really long tail. And the reason why I do that is to go ahead and weave in that into my tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here. Make sure that you pull really tight. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and fluff this bow. And then with this longer tail, what you wanna do is just weave it in to the tree, move some ornaments around. That way it looks like you actually put ribbon into your tree with the same color. So I have a few more I wanna show you how to make. I have this one right here, make sure the tail goes down. So I'm gonna put it right about here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to one of my bristles, fluff your bow, and then with this longer tail, just go ahead and weave it into the tree like this. So I have a few more. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here. These bows also are helping us cover some of those bigger gaps. So just go ahead and pull it all the way in by moving your ornaments like this. 
attach to one of your bristles, fluff it like this, and then this longer tail, just do some loops going down, move some ornaments around, go ahead and finish it like that. And I have one more right here, so let me see, where do we need it? I think we need it right over here. So at this point, you also just let your eye dictate where those ornaments should go. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some tails and loops and then just weave in this ribbon into your tree and it's just giving it so much more look. All right, so then what I have is these rose gold ornaments from Walmart. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find open spots like here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to my open spots and fill it in, but remember to go in and out of your tree to balance it out. I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy right here. And so I have a few more of this particular one. I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here on the top. <clears throat> like that. And then I have one last one of this kind. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it right about here. And as you guys can see, the tree is getting full. It's looking so fabulous. Then what I found also is these packs of ornaments at Walmart. These are so cute. And what I like about this is because it's more like an icicle, right? So what I want to do is I want to make sure that these guys dangle down into my tree because they're really going to add that pink sparkle to it. And make sure they all go all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy right here so they show really beautifully. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this video. I'm having so much fun transforming this Dollar Tree into a little bit more of a glam look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one more of this gold, rose gold. I'm gonna add it right here, right? It's just a little touch of pink, not so much of it. Then what I'm going to do, this also came in gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these gold ones all the way around. Make sure you put them all the way around your tree. And at this point, the tree is getting so full and it's looking so gorgeous. It's making me so excited. So I'm gonna add this guy right here. Let them dangle down. All right, so I'm gonna add another spot like right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and push it in like that. And you also want your ornaments to go in, like let them go in and out. That way they like there's depth and dimension to them. I'm gonna go over to this side. And these ornaments are so gorgeous and so affordable at Walmart. But I'm gonna add this one right here, like that. All right, so lovely. I love the way this is looking. However, the showstopper really will be these beautiful butterflies that I found at Walmart also. These were only like $3 a piece and they have a little clip on the back. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and clip them into my tree. I wanna make sure that I have some on the top up here. It all serve as our tree topper like that. They're so easy to play with because they have that little clip on them. So you make sure that you go all the way around. I wanna put one probably right here, like that. You can play with the wings. I think I have a few more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one up down here. Remember to go up and down and then also all the way around. All right, let me see, where do we need one? I feel like we need one right here with this bow. Make sure you fluff those wings and put your, your beautiful butterfly like that. And just like that, you guys, you have transformed with yet another $30. You have transformed your Dollar Tree into a beautiful Walmart design that I absolutely love the way all this silver, all this gold and rose gold look all together. It is super yummy. I absolutely love it. However, we have one more look. We're going to add yet another $40 worth of uh, ornaments from Hobby Lobby, and we're gonna show you what the end result looks like, and I'm super excited, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so, so far we have added our Dollar Tree ornaments and ribbons. We have added our Walmart ribbon and also some ornaments, as well as these beautiful butterflies. And so now our tree is looking fabulous, however, I really don't think a tree looks absolutely gorgeous unless it's three-dimensional. And the way we do that is by adding some picks like this right here. And this came from Hobby Lobby. I've spent about probably $30 worth of picks. 
We have the cedar ones and then we also have these glittered ones. They are just gonna make all the difference on the tree and it's gonna make it look three dimensional. So what I like to do is I just like to find spots like right here where it needs to uh, come out. And as you guys can see, this gives it like a lot of depth. So what I like to do is I just like to go all the way around my tree and what you wanna do is you wanna give this a bend like this so you can insert it and it'll still come out. So I wanna make sure that I put one right about here. And as you guys can see, it just gives it that three dimensional tree look and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna add one right here on the top. The ones you add on the top, you wanna make sure that you add inserting flying out. It's all about letting them fly out. So I'm gonna add one right here. Then at the end, we're gonna go back and we're going to go ahead and fluff all of the bows and add all of the ornaments and place them where they need to be. And this is gonna be probably the most gorgeous Christmas tree I think I've ever done. Oh, I love how this is flying out. Thumbs up for this little trick, you guys. If you enjoy this trick, once again, you can find these guys at Hobby Lobby. Those are the only things I bought were picks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one, see? Sometimes you have to go to the opposite side to find out that it is on the other side that it needs it. This one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and attach with one of the bristles so it stays in place like that. And so now that we have the greenery ones, what we need to do is we need to go back with the pick glitter ones and we need to make sure that we remove all these tags. Oh my gosh, they're really stuck in there, don't they? It's like we're gonna steal them or something. All right, so we're gonna cut all of those tags and then what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and place them coming out of the tree and that just looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and add it like that and look how beautiful and three dimensional that makes your tree look. So gorgeous. So I'm gonna add this one right about right here. And it gives it also a lot of sparkle. I'm just gonna put them all in my hand and I'm gonna bring them out like this. Make sure you fluff them. Don't put them all flat like they come on the, on the box. Make sure you fluff those stems. And as you guys can see, it's just giving it that designer look. This is how we make them look when you work in retail and you have to decorate trees for show. This is basically what we do. We just load them up with ornaments in hopes to inspire people to come in, you know, buy the merchandise. So pretty. I'm going to do one pointing up right here like that. Let me see, where else do I need one? I feel like I need one right here. Oh, so gorgeous, you guys. I wish you could see it in person. This is so exciting. All right, let me to get this tag off. All right, let's see, where do I need one? Probably right about here. And as you guys can see, it really helps to fill in. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think with all of its beautiful Walmart bows and ornaments, the beautiful Hobby Lobby picks and Walmart butterflies and Dollar Tree ornaments. It turned out so exquisite, you guys. And the reason why I wanted to add some flocking is because the navy blue that we're using, it's more of a darker hue. So therefore it's going to show better in this particular type of treatment. All right, so now that we have our cedars and our tree flocked, I'm gonna get the ribbons ready and I'll be right back with you. You will not want to miss this one. Now, if you cannot afford beautiful ribbons, I really do recommend to invest in them. Think about the themes that you're going to be doing in the future and invest in the ribbons. That is the one thing that if you invest on, it really 
elevate the look of your tree. All right, so you guys know that I like to drop them on the floor and then also that I like to have all of my tools at the ready. So I'm gonna get some of these wires out so that way I'm not battling them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dovetail my top, of course. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start right here at the top. And as you guys can see, there's some of this um, greenery. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a beautiful loop right here. And I have a video, this is gonna be real quick, but I have a video, I just posted a video on how to add ribbon to your Christmas tree that I'm going to be linking up right here, right now, and then also in the description box below. So you guys can check it out if you wanna see a whole tutorial on how to add ribbon. But look, this is what I'm telling you guys. Look how beautiful this whole this shape just like this. Isn't that just stunning? So then what you wanna do is you grab your 16 gauge wire and just go all the way back like this. Pull really tight and then give it a few twists. I'm gonna go over to this side and I'm gonna add this guy right here. I'm gonna grab this bristle and I'm gonna go all the way down on it and then I'm gonna just give it a twist. And then remember, I really recommend a four inch, um, I think it's a three and a half inch to a four inch wide because the wider the tree, if you put lit, uh, like smaller ribbons, they really don't show. Those smaller ribbons, they should be just an accent for your Christmas tree. But if you add a four inch ribbon like this one, and then you do a big loop like this. You wanna make sure that it goes all the way out and then attach right here. And look how that just shows so much better. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another loop right here. So I'm gonna grab my ribbon and I'm gonna do another little loop. Then I'm gonna grab one of these bristles and I'm just gonna attach it right here. And look what that does. It just creates that extra loop right here. So now what I can do is I'm gonna do yet another loop right here and I'm gonna go all the way in. And this is the way that your ribbon's going to really not get lost in your Christmas tree. And I'm not gonna use a lot of this darker one because I really don't wanna darken the tree. I wanna keep it lighter. So I'm just gonna do one tail right there. Then I'm gonna move over to the other side. Let me dovetail, because if I don't dovetail my ribbons, I know you guys will come in. You guys will come after me. All right, so now I'm gonna move over to this side. Remember this loop should be about, probably like, five to six inches, then go down, pinch, twist, go up, twist, and then twist, and we're gonna do one more right here. Oh my gosh, this ribbon is just absolutely exquisite. Look at this, so pretty. You know, one day I'm gonna have my own Ramona home ribbons, and I have so many ideas of what ribbons especially for fall and for Christmas should look like. So I'm speaking it into existence. All right, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go all the way down and then I'm gonna attach and look at this. You basically just created your topper. No need for a topper now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come right here in the middle. And what I like about this ribbon is because you can really manipulate this ribbon, look at that. So basically just twist right here then I'm gonna do another loop, another little loop right here. Okay, so the next step is going to be to add a few of these flocked hydrangeas and some picks in that beautiful blue color. So I have five of these hydrangeas, so I wanna find prominent spots like right here, and I'm gonna push them in as far as I can. So that's gonna help us fill in some of those green voids like right here. And remember, we always go back and fl uh, fluff our ribbons. So make sure that you add your hydrangeas in the spots where there is more greenery, like that. And then I'm gonna move over to right here, maybe. Like that, and I'm going to go right here behind this ribbon. You wanna go in and out. This is just a filler, but it's also going to give it some texture to your Christmas tree. So then the next thing I wanna add is some of these beautiful glitter picks, and oh my gosh, when I said I'm obsessed with this, you guys, I know I'm obsessed with anything that has glitter in it, but look at this. Isn't that just easy to be obsessed with? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some right by where I added the hydrangeas, and I'm just gonna let them fly out like that. Um, every place where I put a hydrangea, I'm gonna put a pick. 
like this. And look at that, it just extends the shape of the tree. It gives it some color and I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna add this guy right here. And make sure you add them sideways as you guys can see because that will help it to give dimension to your tree. Instead of putting it flat like this, so go ahead and give it a twist because that will help it also catch the light. All right, so I'm gonna add one right here on the top like this. Okay, everyone, let's recap real quick. So, so far we've added all of these flocking items to the tree to make it look more like a snow tree. Then we added two types of ribbon. I added this beautiful blue and white ornament and then this navy with silver polka dot. After that, I added a few hydrangeas. I have five hydrangeas right here on the tree and five of these beautiful navy picks with glitter. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna add the ornaments and for that I have clustered some of these really gorgeous blue and white or actually blue and silver and a silver one and I have some glitter ones and then I have some shiny ones. So I'm gonna show you that uh, by adding them on this wire right here already, what you can do is go in here and grab one of these stems and basically just twist that wire into that bristle and look at that, it's gonna give you a little cluster of ornaments. I'm gonna add a few, and you wanna make sure that you go in between the uh, cedars, like right here, open them up, and then go in and attach them. The reason why is you want this cedar to serve as your flyaway, so you wanna see them tucked in, you don't wanna see them like hanging out. So I'm gonna add another one right here, and I'm gonna go in like this. Make sure that I grab one of these bristles and you see by adding just one cluster automatically gives you two ornaments i'm going to add one to the top over here to make sure that it's all throughout the tree so i'm going to grab this bristle sorry if i give you my back but i kind of have to see what i'm doing look at that so now you have that blue ornament all throughout and so now i've gathered some just silver ones by themselves and to fill in so i'm going to go in here and twist with my wire. And I'm gonna add one right here. I have this beautiful silver with white. I want this to be more of a showpiece, so I'm gonna add some of them out. Let me see, I'm gonna add one right here so you can really see it. One right here. And as you continue to add ornaments, make sure that you kinda cluster them together so that way they're seen from all over the place. I'm gonna add one right here by this hydrangea. And don't forget to take it all the way to the top. I have four, this came in a box of four. So I'm gonna add one right here to the top. So I'm gonna grab this right here and just give it a twist. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? All of this silver and blue and white together. I'm gonna add one right here. And then I have some of these clear ones with glitter in the middle. These are also a statement piece, so I'm gonna make sure that I find a place where you can actually see them, like right here. I'm gonna grab this wire and just hang it like this. Look at that, because they don't weigh basically anything that is just so easy to attach to your tree. So basically just swirl that wire once. Let me see, where else do I need? I'm gonna put one right here, hanging from right here. So grab your bristle and just give it one swirl to the left. That way when you take them down, you know that you just swirl one to the right and then it'll basically be it. All right, so those are the ornaments. We had some clusters of silver and uh, blue and then some white and silver and some clear ones to make it look more elegant. So the next item is going to be the statement pieces. Let me get them all ready and I'll be right back. Keep watching. If you've been watching Ramona Home for quite any time, then you know that my thing is the flyaways. Whether I'm making a fresh floral arrangement, a wreath, a swag, or a Christmas tree, you always have to have an item like this that is a flyaway that is going to give that three-dimensional look to your Christmas tree. In this case, I found this gorgeous glitter boxwood pick. It is rather long. Um, but right here where the glitter stops, that's basically all you have to insert into the tree. I don't know if you guys knew that. But where the glitter stars, that's where your showpiece is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find places like right here and I'm going to add it right there and look, it just extends the shape. It gives it that three-dimensional feel to your Christmas tree and it just gives it a very elegant look. So I'm going to add one right here, right by this magnolia and look at that. 
It makes everything else just look so 3D. Your eye travels all the way in. I'm gonna add one right here because you have to let your eye dictate where is it that the flyaways want to live in order to make that three-dimensional feel. And so now what happens on the left is gonna happen on the right. I have about half a dozen of these that I'm going to add to the trees. I'm gonna add this one right here. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so pretty and so glittery. So I'm gonna add one right here. Let's see. And remember, we always go back at the end and fluff those ribbons. You don't wanna have pancake ribbon or flat ribbon. We're gonna add one to the bottom. Make sure that it spills down and forward like this. If it doesn't wanna stay, just grab your stem and then look, push it up and it'll stay right there. Let's see, where else do we need one? Over on this side. All right, so I just wanna give you a quick close up of all of the items that we added to this gorgeous blue and white and silver tree, starting with this ribbon, you guys. Check out the detail of the ornaments with the snowflakes, the little magnolia that has jewels inside of it. It's just so beautiful. And here is a close up of those blue or navy poinsettias, all of the glitter on the boxwood and all of the other picks is just absolutely exquisite. And I wanna also show you over here, the blue and white ornament or the blue and silver in this case is just so beautiful. And I love the way this turned out because it really changed the look of that really inexpensive Christmas tree that was behind it. I cannot wait to read your comments. All right, everyone, so we're going to decorate this Christmas tree on a very glam, mixed metals, woodsy, wintry theme, if that makes sense to you. I think it'll make sense at the end of it. But I just wanna show you something real quick. The inspiration for this look was this gorgeous ribbon that has a chevron pattern on sequence and it's just absolutely beautiful. It has all of the mixed metals and a pin that I better take off so I don't want you, I don't want to uh, scream. Oh, it's just the wire. Okay, so anyways, this uh, beautiful ribbon is going to be our inspiration. And we're going to be using a mesh um, champagne color and a silver as an accent. Now, I want to explain real quick. This is a basic greenery tree. And remember, I told you these trees are meant for designing on them. But if you want to give them some depth and dimension, then you might want to use some of these flocked branches or any other branches that extends the shape of your tree out. I'm using flocked branches because the theme is a little bit more snowy and a little bit more glam, so I wanted to give it that feel. But if you don't know how to do this, uh, I have a video that I did before and I explained to you how you can change the look of your tree. Let's take a look real quick. All right, so now that we know how to add these flock branches, I'm gonna start by adding my ribbon and I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it on the floor like I always do. And remember to always start your ribbon by dovetailing. And now I'm gonna tell you something, when you buy um, beautiful ribbons like this, we're so afraid to, to cut them because they're a little bit more pricier than regular. But I really just encourage you to go ahead and cut your ribbons and do whatever it is that you have to do to, um, well, get the job done, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a two loop bow and we're gonna do something different. You guys have seen me do ribbons coming down. So I wanna, I wanna do something different, but to start, I always like to start with a bow and I always like to start at the top and I'm gonna start right here. And remember to grab your branch and push that ribbon all the way down. So I'm gonna do another loop right here. I went ahead and attached with two of my uh, bristles so I'm gonna go ahead and do another loop right here by adding and then just twisting some of these bristles together and see how we added a little bit more texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do one loop and remember when you're doing loops, go ahead and pull out and make sure that you really give it a give 
because you want to make sure that you have the ribbon showing after um, we add all of the ornaments and such like that. Somebody asked me, Ramon, how will you decorate a fresh Christmas tree? Well, the secret for a fresh Christmas tree, it's basically you do the same. However, when you are attaching to the tree, you want to use your wire. Where any place that you would do the cross of the bristles to attach the ribbon, you use a wire and you attach it to the Christmas tree. All right, I hope that helps someone who was asking about those. To continue with this, I'm gonna do a one single loop right here. And I'm gonna add some of these wires. I'm gonna take some out so it is easier for me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach right here. And I'm gonna start with this one right about here. Make sure that all of that sequence really shows because that is why I call our money maker. <laughs> that's because that's like the showy part of the ribbon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cross over to this side. So sorry if I give you my back right here. And I'm gonna attach with this right here. Now remember there's going to be a lot of other items so um, we basically finished all the bolt. I was explaining on a Facebook Live that I did uh, that when you, you know, sometimes we, we don't want to cut our ribbons or we, um, when we are making a project for a customer, we want to save some of those things. Well, number one, the customer already paid for it, so might as well just give it to them and put it all on the wreath. And we tend to be like, oh, this is for another project later. And we just end up with a whole bunch of crap in our garage like I have then you have to go through it. So I recommend to just go ahead and use it all. all right, so I'm gonna add this guy. Isn't this room just absolutely glorious, you guys? It's just so beautiful. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with this beautiful mesh ribbon and just drop it on the floor. It is easier just to go back and clean later. And for this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look how it sparkles and it glistens. So gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna do a three loop bow and I'm gonna attach with one of my wires. And I'm gonna go right here where I added this guy right here. So now we're gonna have a four loop bow. But instead of going that way, I wanna come down this way. And I'm gonna attach right there with one of my bristles. Get my scissors over here. And I'm just gonna let it hang like that. And then I'm gonna dovetail. So basically just one loop because remember we still have the silver. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. I've been trying to answer all of your comments. However, this time of the year, you know, uh, the end of uh, September or I'm sorry, October and beginning of November, there's so many messages that it sometimes is hard, but I do read them all. I promise you, if you got a little heart, that means that I've read your comments. I do try to, however, answer all of the comments. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here where I, where I looped. And I'm gonna go in on the same spot and I'm gonna grab the same bristle that I attach with. And then I just give it a two right there. And for this one, I'm gonna do a bigger loop like this and I'm gonna go all the way in right here. Okay, so we're gonna continue to our ornaments, but first I'm gonna undo my coat because I feel like it's pulling on me, so. I feel more freer this way. I'm gonna start with three sizes of ornaments. So I'm gonna do a large gold, a medium uh, silver, and then a champagne small with a really pretty shape. And I'm gonna only do about three of each to show you that you do not need a whole bunch of ornaments to have a gorgeous Christmas tree. And what you wanna do is you wanna wire them first, and I'm gonna add one right here. Remember to create a shape when you are decorating your Christmas tree. So I'm gonna probably go up here somewhere because I want them to show and you want to make sure that also you fluff those bows at the end because they're gonna get a little flatter right now so I have one right here one right here so I'm gonna go over to this side and I'm gonna go on a ladder motion so just add this guy right here throw your wire and this ornament is not going anywhere so as you guys can see it is super easy I'm gonna wire a few of these silver ones and just to show you put a wire through you gain one twist and what I want to do, and I want to explain real quick, is that when you're doing bigger ornaments like this, you wanna make sure that you attach them close together because we usually would do clusters of ornaments, but when you're having larger ones like this, well, you cannot do clusters because it would be really hard to maneuver, but the secret here is to put them close together. As you guys can see, I have these two right here. 
So just give him one twist, pull that wire back. I'm gonna do one more on the other side. So I'm gonna come over to this side and for this particular one, I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to attach and see how they're filling in that tree. So now I'm gonna do a few of these gorgeous, they have this like shape to them and it has that glimmering glisten to it that I love, 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 love. So I'm gonna continue adding them close to each other. I'm gonna go here and see how I just twisted that wire. And that's why you wanna wire your ornaments. The very first thing I do when I get ready to decorate my tree or a client's tree or a tree for a video is like, I like to wire all of my ornaments because that way I don't have to struggle with with that little string that they come with, you guys. You have to cut that out. They, first of all, look super tacky, I feel like, and it, it just takes away from your Christmas tree. So that's why you wanna make sure that you um, wire them all. And see how you don't need a whole bunch of ornaments to fill in? We're gonna be doing a few picks. Let's see, what do I want to add this last one of these shapes? So I'm gonna add this one right here. Now, I do have I do have uh, other style of ornaments that I'm gonna save for the end. And I wanna mention these cute little guys are from the dollar store. Um, you can buy a whole bunch of them and I use them to organize all of my ornaments and picks and all the things when I'm working. All right, so I have right here, said picks. So I'm gonna use two styles of picks and I'm gonna start with this particular one because this is going to really fill in. One thing that you have to do is you have to fluff this particular pick or any pick for that matter, because, well, they come flat on a box like this and look what's, what's prettier. You know what I'm saying? It just takes an extra second. And what I'm going to do is right here, I'm gonna open up right here and I'm gonna stick this pick and look how we give it dimension. Here's the pick, here's the ornament. So I'm gonna do one here. So basically you want to just pull every single one of these little branches apart and you wanna go every each way so it comes more like a bush like this. So I added one right here. I'm gonna add one here. And just make sure that you go all the way in. So you wanna open up your tree and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so I have a few more. Let's see, where else? I think I'm gonna do over on this side. You wanna make sure that you do it. If you have a tree that is not against the wall, uh, you want to make sure that you save some of the same elements to decorate the back of your tree because it's, or if it's on a window, you know, you want to make sure that you have some of the elements that are being put on the Christmas tree to save to the back. All right, so I'm going to add another one probably on this side, like over here, to just give it that beautiful feel to it. So now I have some of these long picks, and these are like a fern. So I'm going to start adding some right here on the top. And look at that, that just extends your tree and it gives it so much shape. And remember I told you to put them sideways. Don't put them flat like this because you will lose it. So you kind of have to give it a twist when you insert like that and look at that. So now I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm gonna add one, a few of them here to the bottom. Like that, going down. And look how beautiful it looks with the um, flocked stem. I'm gonna do another one over here. Sorry if I disappear, but I'll be showing you the picks and the stems, which is more important. One right here. Once again, just let your eye dictate where is it that it wants to live. I'm gonna go one here on the top, going this way. And make sure they go sideways like that. So these two are basically framing my bow right here. I'm gonna go over to this side, like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in this side like this. How gorgeous is this, you guys? I'm gonna add a few more items, so stay tuned. Okay, so now that we are finished fluffing and all of our ornaments are in, the last thing I wanna add is some of these gorgeous, big oversized magnolia that are glittered. And what I want to do with it is I want to create kinda like a skirt going down only on the bottom of the tree. So I'm gonna add one right here. I'm going to add one right here. So I'm going to alternate between the gold and the white. I'm gonna move over to this side. So now I'm gonna add one right here, making sure that it drapes down like this. And I'm gonna move over to the other side and add the last one over on this side and making sure that it goes down. So now I'm gonna give you a close up. Stay tuned.
Okay, so I just want to show you guys what the tree looks like up close and personal and look at this ribbon. Isn't this ribbon just everything? The way the sparkles and it catches the lights and the poinsettias really do add that Christmas feel to it. I love the champagne with the silver and the gold and the bow at the top. It looks just so beautiful with the poinsettias and all of those ferns hanging out. So pretty, you guys. I really do recommend if you are doing metals this year, go ahead and mix your metals. And as you guys can see, it was super easy. And how about the skirt of magnolia and garland at the bottom? Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? The way it catches the light, all of these ribbons with so much glitter. You guys, it is Christmas and it is the only time we get to let it sparkle and let it shine. All right, everyone, well, that's all I have for today, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends so they can see some ideas for Christmas decorating themes step by step. I really enjoy sharing this with you, but I cannot wait to share what's next. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of all of these was your favorite. I am going to link right here a playlist with wreath ideas so you guys can get inspired on how to create also a beautiful wreath this Christmas season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing. You can watch more videos right now. Until next time. Bye.